About the HTX. Um, arguably the best part about it is of course that we can use multi-wall plates. Uh, you know, we don't have to stick with a single dish. Uh, there are some limitations to that. We can, you know, you can't go as fast because you're moving from one dish to another, but ultimately um, I think that's a great benefit. The contrast looks amazing with the system. Um, the fact that it's so easy to use that you can just hop on and really just direct the plate map of where you want the system to go, uh, I think is very user friendly uh, and is going to be very helpful to us in the long run. Um, and the second key points that I really like about, the, the last two key points I really like about the system are one is the increased working distance. Um, and the benefit to that is actually twofold. It means we can penetrate deeper samples, uh, which is very useful for, you know, a variety of applications that our competitors can't really get into right now. Um, and as well, it allows for there to be more manipulation on the user end. So uh, I think there's a lot more room for users to add things like microfluidic channels, um, or, you know, there's a lot more working space um, around the actual optics for users to be able to customize their own things. Uh, so yeah, all, all in all, I think it's a, a, a great upgrade uh, from the, the HT2H. Although there are some pros and cons, uh, I think the pros definitely outweigh um, all of the potential cons in this case. Awesome, thank you. Yes, oh, 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 oh. come on, come on, Shade. let's go. Girl, I see you over there in the corner, of the dance floor, and I know, I know you acting shy, looking at the corner of your eyes, so I pick my heart.